a William Penn grad playing music during the dinner hour, this gathering had all the makings of exactly what it was, a celebration that brought selected teachers of the year, support professionals of the year, and the district's behavioral health professional of the year together, along with administrators for an evening called In Your Honor. Much to everyone's delight, Delaware's Miss Juneteenth, who happens to be a senior at Penn, also serenaded the crowd. And then there was the social hour, a time to catch up with colleagues, some of whom took advantage of the selfie station, while others enjoyed hors d'oeuvres served by William Penn's culinary arts students. And since the event was held at a school, George Reed's culinary arts students got creative and made seasonal mocktails with everything but alcohol. I'm getting out of learning how to cater and how to deal with customers. And um, at our school, we also have a coffee cart where we learn how to uh, make profit and sell to customers and how to like make deals and everything with them. So it's a good experience and then I can take it with me as I get older. Chef Rob Laferno made certain his culinary art students knew their marching orders. And with the support of his wife, who pitched in as a maitre d', the students served a full course meal to about 100 guests. At the age of 14 and 15, an event like this would be very memorable for them. And I think it's a great experience hands-on, because this is what we call basically a sit-down, serve dinner that they might not really experience that much in the classroom. I definitely like learned a few things I didn't know before working at such like a high speed. So it's like now you know you read about it, you learn about it, and now when you do it, it's kind of a little overwhelming. But when you get really used to it, it actually helps you a lot more. And while this was not a night for long speeches, it was a time for everyone here to reflect on Colonial's mantra: "The power of we." Remember, we foster, we nourish, and we encourage. I know that I'm not alone. I know there are capable, caring, and supportive professionals that show up every day to make tomorrow better than today. The power of we. It is a fair to assume that all of you have displayed the attributes of our collective mindset as you are all being recognized this evening. The power of we is just that. <laughs> a collaborative effort across the district to uplift, inspire, challenge, and engage our students, our dedicated staff, and our community. This work is not done alone. You are the we today. You're it. So when we hold it up and look at it, this is who we see. Custodians, bus drivers, paraeducators, teachers, constables, custodians, student advisors who were once teachers. Everybody here. I'm proud of everything that you've done to get yourself to this point. It's easy to see why this event is so popular. Celebrating the best of the best is what we do here in Colonial Nation. That's it for this edition of Keeping Up with Colonial. I'm Lauren Wilson, your public information officer for the Colonial School District.